Good afternoon. I am Samshir Madhus Singh. Going to speak on buckling and post buckling response of composite plates and the combined in plane loads. Here we are talking about functioning grade composite materials, uh, which is being utilized for civil infrastructures, especially in those application where compatibility of material is not there. We are going to provide the functioning grade composite materials. Fiber reinforced polymer system is uh, being intensely applied for civil infrastructure, say for example, say bridges where we find that this, this material has very high resistance to corrosion and hence that could enhance the life cycle of material strength. The study have also proved that functioning grade material can be effectively used in multi-layer pavement design. So this study basically consists of mechanical characterizations where we are talking about prediction of and evaluation of in plane shear strength, tensile strength, compressive strength and flagged strength of materials. Material consists of CFRP and JFRP in independently and then function graded composite material in the form of hybrid composite as well as linearly functionally graded composites. There are some typical examples of here CFRP and JFRP lamination schemes here. This is that we are talking about this lamination scheme to talk about hybrid composite materials wherein we are laying up the segments of carbon and glass say for example this CCGS represents the top two layers of carbon then set pores is the glass and then in bottom layer is carbon in the same way here we are alternatively laminating or sequencing the carbon and glass layers in that way we can have a different hybrid composite laminates have been obtained CCGGS uh, CG, CG where carbon glass, carbon glass, this is bottom one say that glass, carbon, glass, carbon composite. So I had a different composites we are made, hybrid composites we are making. In the same way we are making a functional grade composite materials here. We said this is showing a linear gradation of carbon and glass here. This is top one is blue one, this represent the glass, then the first layer, top layer glass is 100%, then in the second layer consists of carbon and glass 50 percent again third layer 50 percent and finally here whole layer is carbon layer and then they are symmetrically disposed to the middle surface we are making a 0 50 50 100 layers and the functionally graded composite material in the same way we can have a different uh, uh, linear gradations for functioning graded composite curing have been done if a particular schematic have been applied for making curing the laminates the three temperature range have been selected 160, 120, 80 degrees centigrade, and then curing period have been selected at three hours, two hours, one hour to find out optimum curing duration for a particular temperature. Experimental investigation, as I discussed earlier, I have talked about we are talking going to evaluate the flagellar in interlaminar shear strength, tensile strength, compressive strength, and its compressive stress system behavior of the laminates. So this experimental investigations were done on the dynamic utility press machine with a 10 10 cavity and 3.5 where 3.5 MPa grip pressure are maintained and for tensile test a loading rate was 2 mm per minute for, for compression test loading rate was 1.5 mm per minute sample size were taken as per STM standards then for regular test we have taken the load rate were taken about 0 0.11 as per equation has given by this equation that depends on the span of the samples and the depth of the sample and the staining rating considered. This is a particular fabrication of RP laminate schemes have been shown here. Where we are showing that here for proper finish where aluminum foil have been put on composite then whole composite, weight composite have been tightened with the bolt tightening machine under the steel plate that is steel plate assembly a whole I put an oven for a particular temperature and then cure for one hour, two hour, three hour duration and after curing here this sample have been taken out and this sample have been taken out after taking samples out we have cut this samples specimens for 0 degree 5 directions, 90 degree 5 directions and 45 degree to 5 directions for testing under um, UTM testing machine for different property tensile compression, flagellar and interlaminar shear. Differential scanning calorimeter used for finding the glass tension temperature of the epoxy resin. SCM then SCM image showing here is the uh, SCM scanning electronic machines was used to find out interface uh, characteristics of this uh, hybrid and uh, functional composite materials. There are some testing test setup for finding tensile compression then plagiar test as well as interlaminar shear strength. 
which all tests were done per AFTM standards. As per shown here is summary comparison of the stresses and characters we find that hybrid composition have very good response. We are having the reasonable strength with a significant deformation cavity where carbon fiber has high strength but very low deformation cavity and functional grade composite material has similar characteristics as glass fiber composite but slightly better strength and deformation cavity. Then for push buckling strength evaluation, we have taken different size of cutout, different shapes of cutout. However, in this particular presentation, we are presenting the push buckling strength under combined in plane shear and initial compressions. And here uh, we are taking the diamond shape cutout with the large size. There are three shapes of um, size of diamond shape cutouts have considered small, large, and medium size cutouts. And this representative functional gradations of composite material, laminate composite material for minus, minus 45, plus 45, 0, 90 degree orientation have been taken five times each layer for each function grade laminate. This is typical function grade composite laminate for each layer of function grade materials and is plus, this plus 45 or minus 45 uh, represents the direction of fiber layer in each uh, uh, composite and black one represents the proportion of carbon fiber and white one represents the proportion of glass fibers in each function grade composite material. So we have done the post buckling strength and the initial compression load in plain positive and negative shear loads here. Cost shear topic length have been considered, simply separated boundary condition have been considered, and plate without cutout and with diamond shape cutout. Verification of reals have been available for literature review. Only the ultimate loads are different from that study. You see that one. Ultimate loads are different because of the different uh, philosophy taken, different mechanism have been taken in case of uh, Baker's ultimate load is based on loss of instability. Where in the literature, available, available literature, available, real available literature is consist of the self-developed program based on soil criteria and self-developed uh, degradation models, material degradation models. This is for in plain shear under negative DS load condition. Here, this is so that the effect of under initial compression shear combined loading conditions, load first deflection is passed under piety load shear, and load first deflection is passed under negative shear load have been shown. In case of negative shear load, Combination you see that response of the uh, plate with cutouts almost very close to the plates without cutout, especially for the small size cutout. For in case of cutouts with the uh, cutout size, the D1, D2, D3, small, big, and medium, medium and big, we will find a response uh, uh, for cutout. The strength of plate with the cutouts um, is lower than what is strength of plate without cutouts. Similar response have been done. There's an effect of load ratio have been applied for a plate with uh, without cutout, where nx by nxy represent the load ratio, that is ratio of the unitional compression to the in plane shear load. And they find this is for positive shear, this is for negative shear. We are finding a response for the plate without cutout here. Uh, find that under in plane shear loads, responses or deflections are very high for a given load. A similar study have been done for plate where with cutout here. This is diamond shape cutout. Load ratio is the increasing load ratio. We find is load carrying cavity of structure is decreasing. This is corresponding typical load interaction diagram I have done for combined loading conditions here. For here, this is for plate without cutout. This is for plate with the uh, cutout. And you show that buckling and these are red lines are for ultimate failure that is first line failure load or uh, interaction diagram. So, the best on that, we are finding that some typical uh, uh, concluding remarks that you can make is that have the function grade composite materials has a better response, has a response similar to the glass fiber composite system. Under linear compression, combined unitional compression in plane cell load carrying effect decrease under combined loading situations. Ultimate failures are higher in function grade plate with fiber aligned in quasi topic fiber direction under combined compression load with negative in plane shear. Increased ratio of compression load in plane shear load results in decrease in the critical buckling and post buckling strength, especially the first ply failure load uh, situations. And that you can also that finally you can also the critical buckling, first ply failure load and ultimate failure loads are higher in functioning grade hybrid composite plate subject in plane shear load with respect to initial compression loaded plates. However, critical buckling, first ply failure, ultimate failure loads of the similar plates decrease when they are subject combined in plane load, that in plane initial compression and in plane shear by linear load. So, third is thank you. There are some references, and I am thankful to Bishplani for and CSIR for financial strength provided for effective execution of research work, and my students Sudhir Bhumadi Sethi who executed all the uh, experimental program as well as the numerical history. Thank you very much.